Hello guys, I'm Rafael and I'm here to show you how you can create an app from zero and run it and publish it uh, because there is no, there are no content about it in YouTube or in forums. It's super hard to find uh, technical content about it. So I'm planning to make a series series of videos about it and in this in this video i will show you how you can create an app from zero and run it uh, for the next videos i will show how you can charge the merchant to use your app i will show you how you can use the admin apis the storefront apis how can you use the extensions so it's gonna be pretty educative i think so yeah let's go stay with me to the end i will let the the video um you know divided in the description so you can just jump to the part that you want to see okay so for the beginners if you don't have an shopify partners account you need to create one. So I will add the link in, on the description. So it's just click here, sign up and follow the process, you know? It's super simple, you can do it. I trust you, I trust in you. I don't know how to say it, but that's it. Uh, after that, uh, you probably will see a screen like that. The second thing that you need, it's a store. So basically you can come here, you can click in, click, in, click on add store, create, create development store for clients. No, it's not for clients, they will be dated. Let's see, let's see. Create start, yeah, because now you, you need to use the dev dashboard. So after you come here, you can just add a new store, you know, you can create, you can put the name that you want and you can select the plan that you want to use. I recommend choose the plus plan. I like to use the plus, but yeah, it's better use the plus plan because um, in the next videos, uh, as I said uh, on the beginning, we will create extensions and some of that extensions just run on plus stars. So it would be better if you choose this option and generate test data, data for store. And I don't like this option because sometimes in the future, uh, Shopify has a lot of bugs related to this feature on, and after that, just creating store and you can wait your store to be created. Okay. So with with everything set up you can now come here and install the shopify cli it's super simple you just need to install node.js 20.10 or higher this is super important so you have the link i will add the links on the description as i said the git uh, npm and after all that you just need to run this command okay you copy this command and run here okay i will not do that because i already have the cli installed on my mac so okay let's begin shopify app init we we will choose the first option because with that option you can create extensions later and for extension only app basically you just use that option if you want to run 
an ex, uh, a specific extension in your store. And so otherwise it doesn't worth it because you can't, you know, it's going to be hard to set up the React Router and publish the app on the Shopify App Store. And the focus of this series of videos is to publish an app on the Shopify App Store. So let's go with the first option. Of course, TypeScript. It's my preference. Uh, if you plan to follow my, my videos, go with TypeScript. Yes, create this, a new app, and you can you can put like app test app tutorial okay my app was created it took me some a few minutes i don't know how many minutes but after uh after this message you can just do as as it's says here uh, CD app tutorial and we can code dot to see the the code for my case I can't just run the app using this command right here you can just use in our Shopify app dev but and it will work for you, but not for me. And I you explain it. But try the common Shopify app dev first. I will explain it. Okay, now just press P, like it says here. And if you don't have any problem like me, now you sh should be able to see the main screen of some content. And now let me explain why it's not working for me. So basically, um, my, my, uh, what is it? Shop, yeah. My Shopify app Tony, it's not updating the my application URL automatically. For some reason, I don't know why, but to bypass this problem, I just use an, I just use a tunnel using my own domain, so I can just put here like file dev and do the same for here I can just save I can stop this tunnel and I can use apply app dev. yeah here it's um, already saved in my terminal I, I'm using warp just in case if someone asks uh, warp is this one right here uh, I yeah this one I really like this terminal because as you can see here it has the autocomplete thing so uh, yeah I should run this command but it will um it will not work because i'm not running my tunnel yet so i need to yeah i should know uh let me let me see first i don't think it's running because uh, yeah, I'm not running my tunnel. How can I tunnel? Uh, what is the command? I just forgot. It 
it's not that one. Let me check. I already have. Yes, Cloud Flare Tunnel. Please, this this one. This is another app that I'm working, so you can just use this command. Now it should work. Yes, um, this is my main screen. Uh, you, your screen should be exactly like this. If you are using the, what's my Shopify version? Let's see, let's see. Shopify CLI. Shopify CLI. Maybe. No. Okay. How can I see the my oh yeah, the version is three dot eight five dot five that I'm using. So and uh to set up the the tunnel you can do the same with the energy rock this is for free you know so every time uh how can you use it it's it's simple you know uh -da -da. you can just in your house open a tunnel on board Three thousand, yeah. You install the the energy rock and just run energy energy rock the eight http three thousand, and you instead do this command right here. You just pass your local roast three hundred three thousand basically actually you need to sorry you you run the tunnel on the the url generated by the energy rock that's it so um it will be like energy rock url and something basically and that was it for today are you i'm planning to post two or three videos a week so i hope you enjoy it if you like it you can let a comment and i appreciate everyone thank you bye bye see you in the next video